Question 11, a curve is defined parametrically, which has the following properties, x is inverse tan of 2t, the y by the x is 6t, 1 plus 4t squared, and we've got y equals 5 and t equals 1. Okay, this is very interesting, but recall parametrically, if I write this, the y by the x, that's just the y by dt times dt by dx. Now, let's start off by looking at dx by dt then, which means we can get dt by dx. So, looking at dx by dt, we know that, first of all, x is the inverse tan of 2t. So, we need to differentiate the inverse tan of 2t. So, let's say x equals the inverse tan of u where u equals 2t, then obviously dx by du, using your formula sheet, if you have to, is 1 over 1 plus u squared, and du by dt just equals 2. So dx by dt is going to be dx by du times du by dt, so that's 1 over 1 plus u squared times 2. So we've got dx by dt is just 2 over 1 plus 2t squared, so 4t squared. So that implies that dt by dx is what we're trying to find out, is 1 plus 4t squared over 2. So remember, the y by the x is simply the y by dt times the t by the x. But we already know what the y by the x is. It's given to us in the question. That's 6t, 1 plus 4t squared. So we've got the y by dt times 1 plus 4t squared over 2 equals 6t, 1 plus 4t squared. So we can imply that the y by dt is simply 6t, 1 plus 4t squared. Dividing by a fraction is the same as times and by its reciprocal, so 2 over 1 plus 4t squared. And you should be able to see that these cancel, and therefore the y by dt is just 12t. So we can integrate to find y now in terms of t. So y is going to be the integral of 12t dt, which is 6t squared plus c. So when y equals 5, t equals 1, that implies 5 is equal to 6 plus c, which implies that c equals minus 1. Therefore, y equals 6t squared, take 1. And we're done. Question 12, let z equal cos theta plus i sin theta. Use the Moivre's theorem to state an expression for z4. So part A, nice and simple, z4 is simply cos 4 theta plus i sin 4 theta. One mark, no real problem there. Question B, state and simplify the binomial expansion of cos, 4, cos theta plus i sin theta to the power of 4. So we've got cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of 4. I need quite a bit of space for this one. So we've got 4 to 0 of cos 4 theta. And then we'll have 4 to 1 cos cubed theta. i sine theta. And then we'll have 4 to 2 of course, squared theta, i sine theta squared, which we'll work out in a minute. 4 choose 3, of course, theta, i sine theta cubed. And lastly, 4 choose 4, of just i sine theta to the power of 4. Remember, i is so tidying this up. So 
So 4 choose z equals 1, so we've got cos to the power of 4 theta. 4 choose 1, well that's 4 factorial over 1 factorial, 3 factorial if you're taking your time, which is just 4. So you've got 4i. Four 4i cos cube theta sine theta. Then you've got 4 choose 2. So that's 6, and then it's cos squared theta, sine squared theta, but it'll be minus because i squared is minus 1. Moving on to our next one, 4 choose 3, so that's 4 again. So we're going to have 4 cos theta sine cubed theta, and i cubed, well i squared is minus 1, so minus 1, and then I've still got an i, so minus 4i. And the last one, 4 choose 4, is just 1 of course, i to the power of 4 is, i squared is minus 1, so minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1, so we're just going to have plus sine to the power of 4 theta. Part C says, hence show that cos 4 theta equals 8 cos to the power of 4 theta minus 8 cos squared theta plus 1. So part 1, we already know that cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of 4 from the Moivre's theorem is cos 4 theta plus i sine 4 theta. plus 4i cos cubed theta sine theta minus 6 cos squared theta sine squared theta minus 4i cos theta sine cubed theta plus sine to the power of 4 theta. So we can see that this is made up of a real part and an imaginary part. So if we just equate the real parts, we'll end up with cos 4 theta. So equate the real parts. So that implies that we've got cos 4 theta equals cos to the power of 4 theta. Second term is imaginary. Minus 6 cos squared theta sine squared theta. Next term's imaginary, but then we've got plus sine to the power of 4 theta. So cos 4 theta equals cos to the power of 4 theta minus 6 cos squared theta. Sine squared theta is 1 minus cos squared theta. And since sine squared theta is 1 minus cos squared theta, then we'll have plus 1 minus cos squared theta squared, because sine to the power of 4 theta is sine squared times sine squared. So now we've got everything in terms of cos. Tidying that up further, we've got cos to the power of 4 theta minus 6 cos squared theta plus 6 cos to the power of 4 theta, plus 1 minus 2 cos squared theta, plus cos to the power of 4 theta. So cos 4 theta equals 1, 6, 8, cos to the power of 4 theta, minus 8 cos squared theta, plus 1 as required. Okay, part two, sine theta, cot four theta, can be written in terms of cos theta only. So, sine theta, cot four theta. Well, that's just sine theta times the cos of four theta over the sine of four theta. So, that equals sine theta eight cos to the power of 4 theta minus 8 cos squared theta plus 1 minus 2 
plus 1 all over sine 4 theta. Okay, part B told us that cos 4 theta plus i sine 4 theta equals, I'm just going to paste this in. So if we want to know what sine 4 theta is, we can just equate the imaginary parts because we've got an i here to the imaginary parts of this hand side. So equating imaginary parts sine 4 theta must equal 4 cos cubed theta sine theta minus 4 cos theta sine cubed theta subbing it in Remember, that's what we've got. That's going to be sine theta. 8 cos to the power of 4 theta minus 8 cos squared theta plus 1 all over 4 cos cubed theta sine theta minus 4 cos theta sine cubed theta. Taking sine theta out is a common factor on the top we've still got, but taking it out in the bottom as well so we can get rid of the sines. So sine theta is a common factor. So it's 4. We get cos cubed theta minus cos theta sine squared theta. Signs cancel, of course. So on the top, we get 8 cos 4 theta minus 8 cos squared theta plus 1 over 4 times cos cubed theta minus cos theta times 1 minus cos squared theta for sine squared theta. And that equals 8 cos 4 theta minus 8 cos squared theta plus 1 over... 4 cos cubed theta minus cos theta plus cos cubed theta. That equals 8 cos to the power of 4 theta minus 8 cos squared theta plus 1 over cos cubed plus cos squared 2 cos cubed 8 cos cubed theta minus 4 cos theta. Question 13, the last one. A secure spotlight is situated 10 metres from a fence, straight fence. Spotlight rotates at a constant speed, makes a full revolution every 12 seconds. And the situation at time second, t seconds is modelled on the diagram below. L is your position of your spotlight. G is the point nearest to the fence on the spotlight. P is the position where the light hits the fence. Uh, feet is the angle between these two positions and X is the distance in metres from G to P. As shown. <clears throat> and we've got quite a big question to go through. The first one says, show that defeated by dt equals pi over 6 gradients per second and then dx by dt is 5 pi over 3. 6 squared theta metres per second. We're then going on to prove uh, an identity and then find the exact value of dx by dt. So let's go straight into question A. So for question A, I've, I've copied and pasted the relevant bits, the information, the diagram itself, and the fact that we've got one full revolution every 12 seconds. So for part A, we've got one full revolution, so 2 pi radians every 12 seconds. So 2 pi radians in 12 seconds means you've got 2 pi over 12 radians in 1 second. Simplifying that gives us pi over 6 radians 
and therefore the theta by dt is simply pi over 6. Nice and simple there. B, show that dx by dt is 5 pi over 3 sec squared theta meters per second. So if you look at our diagram, we've got a right angle triangle, so it's just so katoa. So if you look, we've got opposite is x and adjacent is 10. So the tan of our angle is simply x over 10. That implies that x equals 10 tan theta. The x by the theta must equal 10 sec squared theta. Tan goes to sec squared theta. dx by dt then is what we're trying to work out. So dx by dt will be dx by the theta times the theta by dt. That's 10 sec squared theta times pi over 6. That's part A, remember. We worked that out. So dx by dt, 10 pi sec squared theta over 6, which is 5 pi sec squared theta over 3. So dx by dt is 5 over 3 pi sec squared theta meters per second is proved. Okay, we'll do to a trig identity, we'll prove that 1 plus tan squared theta is sec squared theta. So let's just start with the left hand side, 1 plus tan squared theta. Well that's 1 plus sine squared theta over cos squared theta. Well that's just 1 plus, 1 becomes cos squared over cos squared. Plus sine squared over cos squared. That equals cos squared plus sine squared over cos squared. Uh, cos and sine is 1, so it's 1 over cos squared theta, which is equal to sec squared theta. And therefore we've proved that 1 plus tan squared theta equals sec squared theta. Part C says, hence the lower find the exact value of dx by dt when p is 5 metres from g. So, recall dx by dt, we've already worked out, and we've already been told in the question actually, is 5 over 3 pi sec squared theta. But from the previous part, we know that sec squared theta is 1 plus tan squared theta. So dx by dt is 5 over 3 pi, 1 plus tan squared theta. So from A, x is 10 tan theta. So when x equals 5, we get 5 equals 10 tan theta, which implies that tan theta equals a half, or 5 over 10. So we can substitute a half in for tan squared theta. So dx by dt is going to equal 5 over 3 pi, 1 plus a half squared. Obviously, at x equal to 5. So that equals 5 over 3 pi, one plus a quarter, which is five over three pi, and five times five quarters. So that equals 25 pi over 12. So dx by dt equals 25 over 12 pi meters per second for our units. I want that. This has been Claire Maths and we have now finished the 2022 Advanced Higher Maths Paper 2. 
Good luck with the rest of your exams. Take care, stay safe and be back.